Welcome back to Card Knock Life Plays. We have another installment in the One Ticket Commander series. Once again, this Commander deck was purchased entirely for a dollar or less, or one ticket or less. However, when you look at the price, it's probably going to be either a few cents more or a few cents less, depending on uh, how these prices fluctuate of all these cards. I chose to do Sasia Orochi Ascendant this time around, which is kind of a bonkers green general for a deck that runs like in almost entirely basic lands. I've got 40 lands, two non-basics, one is Thawing Glaciers that searches out basics, and the other one is Blighted um, Thicket, I believe it is, Blighted Woodlands, which fetches out basics as well. But Sasia is a creature for three mana. Uh, a 2 3, reveal your hand as an activated cost. Um, if you have seven or more land cards in your hand, flip it, and then it becomes an enchantment and not a creature. Whenever land you control is tapped for mana for each other land you control with the same name, add one mana to your mana pool of any type that land produced, which just gets crazy, crazy, crazy um, when you're able to flip it. However, the, the downside of that is you have a handful of lands and really nothing to do with the mana. So I basically had to splurge on like the card drawing in green, um, you know, as far as price goes. And I bought things like Mind's Eye and Sit Sentinel Flute, which basically searches out um, cards that I can I can use the mana on, um, Sears Sundial, that kind of thing. Um, so the deck is a ramp deck. It's a mono green ramp deck. There's not a lot of like really anything else that can be done on a budget effectively, as um, you know, as far as other strategies go in green, but um, the the budget being one ticket it kind of rules out a lot of the removal spells as well so you have to run things like desert twister and i have lignify and that's about it um i have destroyed target artifact and enchantment in many different ways in this deck but as far as dealing with creatures it's, it's pretty difficult um so basically if the sasia doesn't work which oftentimes it's not going to happen um because it's got a pretty steep cost to get to flip um i do have a lot of other ramp spells that you know that go towards the ramp strategy. But there are a couple of them in particular, like Rites of Spring, that can basically turn a hand of uh, of eight cards into all basics for Sasia, meaning that you have to have seven when you start the turn, you draw the eighth card, um, and then Rites of Spring will discard seven because it doesn't replace itself, and it finds seven basic lands to flip Sasia. Um, another good one to fill up your hand with lands is Sprouting Vines. Search library for a basic land card, reveal it and put it in your hand. It's an instant though, and it has storm. So you can play it on your opponent's turn after they've cast three or four spells and get, you know, three or four lands. Um, also, I've got a couple of other ones that search out basics. Um, and then I've got Badoka Gardener to put lands in play from my hand and then also create humongous tokens out of them. Um, Scoot Mob is kind of like a cheap side payoff. I've got things like Magus of the Candelabra, which can make this insane mana production even more insane. Basically, in these games, I'm going to play uh, the discard.com and play John from the discard, I should say. Um, I'm going to prioritize going off with Sasia over anything else. I don't really care so much about winning. I just want to make sure that I'm able to generate a shit ton of mana and do crazy things with it. So hopefully I'll be able to show that off. Um, on the payoff side of things i've got all the x spells that you would expect mist cutter hydra worm calling which is a buyback uh put a giant creature into play orochi hatchery which is kind of on theme with the snake gelatinous genesis and then wildest dreams can basically restart the engines um i kind of like these cards here hall of the night packs are an interesting one when you have all sorts of forests in the deck this can be humongous um also octabi wildcats for the same reason um, sacrificing a forest to regenerate is a pretty low cost um, for a creature that is just like basically unbeatable in this kind of format. Um, Wolf Briar Elemental is basically an X spell, give you a bunch of tokens. So there are lots of really cool things to do, um, and I'm excited about the package of like abundance and Rowan and things like that that sort of thin out my, uh, or kind of fix my draws so that I, I get gas after I um <laughs> I get gas. I draw gas after I go off with Sasia. So, um, should be fun. Um, I'm excited to show this off. And thanks again for watching.